My classic comedy videos usually take two to three weeks to produce. Surprised? Don't be. The father of this style of videos, French YouTuber Cyprian, said in one of his earlier Q&As that Combien de temps mets-tu environ pour préparer une vidéo Alors ça dépend. Hein. En tout cas, le plus long c'est l'écriture. Ça peut prendre des semaines. So how can a five-minute video take so much time? This is how I make my videos. It all starts with a joke idea. When it strikes me, I immediately write it down on my phone and then on my computer. Nowadays, after three years of producing these types of videos, I still have over 200 spare joke ideas. So why have I made only 30 videos of this type? Because to start working on a new video, I need four good joke ideas about one topic. This is when I start working on a new video. And now let's go on a creative behind-the-scenes adventure of producing one of my videos from the very beginning. I currently have four what I consider good joke ideas about gyms. What's the next step? Brainstorming. This is when I sit down and write every single funny, ridiculous or weird thought about gyms. At the same time, I ask my patrons to do the same, so that maybe their idea could end up in my video. Speaking of Patreon, since most of my comedic videos are getting demonetized... All right. I rely on the contributions of my patrons and kind sponsors like CyberGhost VPN. In the world of VPNs, this is the one you wanna get. I've been using it for a while and I couldn't be happier. You pay 2.45 euros per month, so basically a price of a coffee in Western Europe or a coffee plantation in Eastern Europe, and you get all these incredible benefits. For example, I travel quite a lot and CyberGhost VPN gets me better deals for plane tickets and hotel rooms. Look at this, let's say I want to go to New York for five days with a friend. I go to booking.com without having CyberGhost VPN on, you see the prices here. And now I turn it on, I set the location to the US, I keep the same search settings and BOOM! I'm actually saving money here! 171 euros saved on the first hotel and similar amounts saved on the other hotels too. Apart from that, you can watch geo-blocked content wherever you are. So you can watch Netflix in Mongolia, Hulu in Antarctica or porn in North Africa. It's blocked in this region. With CyberGhost VPN you're staying safe on public Wi-Fi's and your entire digital life is encrypted. If you want to start saving money or watching porn in Algeria like 30 million users all around the globe, get CyberGhost VPN at this link with a 77% discount. I'm being really generous right now. Once you get this VPN you can use it on 7 devices so you can actually buy it with friends or family and save even more money this way. If your little brother from Algeria has been on the toilet for 30 minutes, we both know what he's doing there. Looking for great hotel and flight ticket deals while staying safe on the internet. So now I have 4 good joke ideas and 50, let's say, funny thoughts that may become a joke idea. And now it's time for me to identify at least 4 more good joke ideas out of the 50. I always try to find ways to incorporate some funny aspect of a joke or a character into two or more scenes. A good example is my video about France, which is my personal favorite, because the 420 joke and the joke about horniness is incorporated in two different scenes, which creates two layers of the joke and it becomes funnier. At least my mom thinks so. Great! Now we have at least eight good joke ideas that create the backbone for my video. This is the golden rule for me. I won't start writing the final script until I have at least eight good joke ideas. Unbelievable! We have the foundation for a new classic comedy video. And now the most time consuming part. Turning these eight or more raw good joke ideas into an actual script. Now, if a dyslexic child has to rewrite the notes of a cocaine addicted mad scientist, 
it would still look better than my script. My scripts are incredibly chaotic and nobody but me can understand them. It's a mixture of English and my native language Slovak and apart from the actual script lines you can find even the smallest detail of the video in these scripts so I wouldn't forget about it during shooting or editing. And by the smallest detail I mean every single facial expression, audio and video effects, the intonation of certain phrases, basically everything. Everything is highlighted in different colors. One would think it's a mess, but not me. It takes three days on average for me to finalize the script, but this differs greatly. Sometimes I get a burst of inspiration and finish everything in a day, and sometimes I struggle with one line for hours. The script is ready. Are you kidding me? Perfect, now it's time to multitask. First, the list of props. Since I can picture every scene and every detail, I can start looking for props. If you saw at least one of my classic comedy videos, you probably noticed that I use a lot of props. Each character needs to represent what I'm trying to express and it's often hard to find the right prop. I suffer from the curse of perfectionism and it sometimes takes me days to find the right prop. Many people say that I'm overthinking stuff and making my life harder. What do you think? I've had four food colorings here. I bought an original Tabasco. I poured all the Tabasco out and I made a fake Tabasco which I'm, uh, I'm putting into the original Tabasco bottle just for, uh, for the one second in the video. Okay, now I'm putting cornstarch inside to make it look thicker like, like the real Tabasco. Yeah, I'm definitely overthinking stuff. Have you ever been to London? Yeah, I've been there several times. Should I put this much effort into finding props? Because if not, it would save me a lot of time and I'm needlessly complicating things. What helps me immensely are my two Facebook groups full of angels from Bratislava and Prague, the two cities I constantly move between. I always post a list of props that I don't have into these groups and people who are willing to help me can lend me something. Fun fact, when I needed a latex costume with a hole in the anal area for my Germany video, nobody could help me, even sex shops all around Prague. So I had to buy it for 40 euros, cut the hole in it and play the 10 second scene in it. 10 seconds for 40 euros. Am I overthinking stuff? Really, let me know. So for my video about the gyms, I need these four things. I don't know how you call this in English, but it's a thing that measures your heartbeat and you can attach it on your arm while you're uh, working out. Then I need a radioactive suit, uh, doesn't matter what color it would be. And I also need a, a mask. Then I need a sweatband for arms and then I need a headband or sweatband for head. Um, English is not my native language. All right, let's post this into my Facebook groups and see someone can help me. So while I'm looking for props, I always meet the most important person of my YouTube videos, Miguel, a Guatemalan American living in Bratislava. Miguel is an incredible guy. I'm actually on my way to meet him. What is Miguel doing? Grammar checks. Ooh. <laughs> Buenos dias, como estas? Isn't this my favorite American in the world? I hope so. Fitness centers, gyms. Yeah, gyms. I made my video, right? Or when I, I did, shot. when I shot my video, right? My, yeah. my uh, no, 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 no. What I'm trying to say is that, yes, 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 I recorded. I recorded. All right, we've just, uh, not we, Miguel just uh, finished revising the script. Did I say it grammatically correct? Revising the script? Um, yeah, it sounds good. All right. Um, Miguel has been helping me for over a year and I'm not paying him. Uh, he's a f angel. Why are you helping me, man, for free? That's a tough question, man. Are you in love with me or? Uh, well, you don't pay me with money. You pay me with other things. <laughs> I found your video because of one of my friends, mm -hmm. uh, Nicola Shubinova. Mm -hmm. She is your biggest fan. All right. And she mentioned that you were funny, so I looked at one of your videos where you were apologizing for blackface. Yeah. And then I wrote you that what what the situation was, and uh, your stuff was good, and not to worry about it. And you replied to me. 
and you were really nice and cool and then you mentioned that you needed some help and I think during this time it hit uh, YouTube was being really bad to you yeah that is and true you were struggling everything a lot. was demonetized I I had no money I was making no money that is true and I go back to what I learned from my uncle. If you can help someone, help them. And I think the only thing that I've asked you is to pass it on to when you can help that someone true. else. So. That is true. So that's the reason. And I think we built a friendship now. And now I help you because I enjoy what you do. Man, that first video that we shot. The, the, correct, the politically correct t-shirt. I yeah. got to see all the effort that you put into your videos. And I was blown away. Because I didn't realize how much work you put into this. Thank you this. so much. Like we sit for hours looking at just the script, so I can't even imagine how much time you spend on. I think I'm gonna everything. cross. Yeah, don't be a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Miguel. All right, let's move on to the next part. Oh yeah, baby! I can finally say that the script is done. Let's check the Facebook groups if anyone has the props I need. Well, apparently some people have the sweatbands. Oh, there's one guy that has the radioactive suit with the mask. That's great, that's really great. I thought that nobody would have that. Unfortunately, nobody has the thing that measures your heart rate. Some people have the headbands, but they don't look exactly like I want it to look. I need it white and fluffy, most of the people have it in different colors. I'm probably gonna wait like two more hours and uh, if nobody shows up, I'll probably have to buy the remaining stuff. A friend of mine just called me saying that he had the sweatbands for arms. We have a little change of plans regarding the thing that measures your heart rate. I'm not gonna be using that because it's impossible to find it and instead of that I'm gonna be using a case for a cell phone that can be attached onto your arm which looks pretty similar and I think it can have the same comedic effect and this friend of mine is bringing me the sweatbands and also the cell phone case I think you may know this friend of mine Hello Vladimir Hello 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 Dobre super to može bit výborne 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 Ďakujem veľmi pekne Vidíme sa díky moc Ciao, ciao. All right, I'm on my way to buy the stupid white fluffy headband. Cause nobody has them. Why does nobody use them anymore? I think we both know the answer. Because they look fucking ridiculous. Got the headband. It cost only eight euros. Why did I think it costs like... 25. I should probably be buying these things all the time. I have all my props for the studio scenes, which means only one thing. Shooting in the studio. Let's go! Tripod, props. Welcome to my studio. Good to go! This gym video is really special because there isn't a single full scene that would take place here. Uh, that's why I'm not carrying a lot of props with me today. But for example, when I was uh, shooting uh, my video about Germany or Slovakia, I carried several huge bags full of props with me. And uh, these four tables, one, two, three, four, were completely covered by wigs, costumes, and other stupid stuff. Alright, this was fairly easy. It took only about 90 minutes to shoot the talking part in the studio. By the way, this is glycerin. Wait, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but it makes you look really sweaty. Often used in movies. Glycerin. I almost forgot about the thumbnail, so... And this is how I make thumbnails. I always shoot them as a video and then I make a screenshot. It needs to be really appealing for the audience, that's why I'm half naked. Alright, 
think I got it. I'm really sorry if you've just fallen in love with me. I'll put a t-shirt on. All right, and now try to guess what is the next part. Either editing or shooting the remaining scenes. If you thought I would start editing, you were wrong. And if you thought I would start shooting all the remaining scenes, you were also wrong. The next part is actually finding the actors, scouting the shooting locations and securing the remaining props for the remaining scenes. First things first, I need a gym that would let me shoot crazy shit inside for several hours. Luckily, I've been collaborating with the best gym in Slovakia for a while, so let's see if they let me shoot there. Dobry den, pan uh, sa. Tu je popluhár. Uh, mož... Ja vám volám z jedného dôvodu. Um, nič sa nestalo, vôbec nič sa nestalo. Práve že dúfam, že sa stane. Ďakujem veľmi pekne. Majte sa. Dovidenia. Dovi. Wow. Oh, I love this guy and I love Golem Jim. Great! Now I need a bunch of guys that don't need to speak very good English but are able to play crazy roles. Again, I'm very lucky to be friends with Naked Bananas, uh, three YouTubers from Slovakia that are able to play these crazy roles. So I'm gonna call one of them and see if they're available. And if they're not available, that's gonna complicate my life. This happens quite a lot. I need a particular person or a particular place to be in my video and often they're not available. So um, I gotta find a solution and it takes time, it complicates things. Let's see if they're available. <laughs> Tomáško, čau. Čau, maj sa, vidíme sa, píšem. Čau, čau. He's a f***ing retard, but I love him. All right, that was much easier than I expected. Things are getting a bit harder now. I need to find an attractive woman that works out and a really buff guy for two scenes. I've just texted my female friend that actively works out and uh, she's not available this week. She's on a vacation right now. And I also texted uh, my male friend that's really buff and he responded with the same answer. They're both on a vacation. I think I will need to take advantage of my Facebook group again and if I I don't find anyone there, I would need to post an Insta story looking for an attractive female that works out and a male that's really, really buff. Everyone's on a vacation. I told you, things are getting complicated right now. <clears throat> so, about uh, two hours ago, I posted the hot fitness girl request into my Facebook group and I wasn't able to find anyone, but my friend, who happens to be a part of that group, wrote to me that one of his friends is a professional bikini fitness athlete and may want to play in my video. Ahoj Janka, tu je Peťo Popluhár. Neviem, že či vieš, kdo som úplne... Veľmi sa teším. Dobre, ďakujem ti veľmi pekne, píšeme si. Čau, čau. Yes. That's why I decided to post this request on my Instagram as an Insta story. In the first five minutes, uh, two guys wrote to me. They were pretty buff, but uh, not that muscular, but really, really huge. And uh, one of them uh, has a tattoo on his shoulder, so... That's my guy. So right at this moment, I have all the people that I needed. I have the gym and I also have all the props except one. I'm going uh, to pick the radioactive suit later this evening. All right. Here's Zoltan. He has my last prop. Ciao. It's me. It's you, Zoltan. Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> All right, got the mask and got the radioactive suit. Everything is ready for tomorrow, thanks to Zoltan. You're welcome. Let's shoot the video. Good morning. These are all the props I'll be using today. I counted 59 items. So let's put them in this bag and head to the gym. Okay. 
Kedykoľvek ste ready. Tim? Oh my god, Tim! So how did your day go? Ah, uh, you're right, it's so red and swollen. What do you think? Ah, uh, <laughs> Right, uh, a little behind the scenes of this scene. We did like 15 takes, it was impossible to stay calm with wieners all around me. And this is how the guys read their lines. They had them written in front of them. Look. Great job, guys. Great job. Let's shoot the remaining scenes. It's uh, 6 p.m. and after 10 hours of shooting, we're finally done with all the scenes at the gym. I'm fucking dead. After three hours of sleep, I'm dead. This was brilliant. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Let's go to Prague. I'll tell you why. I'm in Prague because I have the right actors and the right location for the scene here. Also, I'm about to edit the video in my Prague office. Um, this is the set. It's always just two lights and this camera. All right, let's shoot the couch scene with Andrew and Mako. That sounded like porn. John is at the gym. No way. That's so cool. Oh, yeah, right, I've never been to the gym. Me either. Me either? Sorry. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's 1 a.m. and I'm in my office here in Prague and I'm happy to tell you that I'm finally done editing the worst things about Jim's video. It took two and a half days. Editing usually takes two to three days, sometimes less, sometimes more. And it's a very exciting part of the process because you finally get to see the final product of what was only a vision in your head a couple of weeks ago. I still got to do the thumbnail, the optimization, the end screens, uh, the cards, the subtitles, but I'll do it tomorrow because I'm way too tired right now and I gotta go home and get some sleep. Well, this is the end of the entire video making process. I wish I was more energetic because I feel very excited inside, but I'm just too exhausted to show it to you. Thank you for watching this very detailed video and I hope uh, many of you got the answer to the question why I don't upload more frequently. It's simply impossible if I want to keep the personal touch in these classy comedy videos. Good night sweethearts and I'll see you next time. Mwah.